So I know these released about some odd time ago, but to me, I particularly wanted to make a quick video or a video on this. That one. And that one. Got these sets recently. Like I said, I know they're older, but hey, I still have thoughts and I want to see what exactly I think of these sets. So I'm gonna get to building. After I'm done building, we're gonna see what exactly I think of these. These are, I think this, I wanna say this one was uh, 35 when I bought it. And this one, I believe, was around 20 bucks. I may be wrong, but I think that's what I got them for. Um, I can't wait to open them up and see the deal because, you know, the last Sonic sets I got were amazing. And so, to me, I, I really like this Shadow one. This Shadow one looks cool. It does feel weird being more excited for the smaller set. Normally you think, oh, the bigger set would be the one that is more exciting. Or, you would think. But, no, actually I'm kind of more excited for the smaller one. Just because almost everybody who's a Sonic fan loves Shadow. So it's like, yeah, I made part of, my, part of me kind of wondered what if uh, they made Shadow the bigger set. That would have been cool. They could have included a lot more stuff from the whole Shadow of the Hedgehog game. I'm actually surprised they actually went with the Shadow of the Hedgehog game, basically, because... Um, let's just say that it's it's E, Ted, and Up, uh, technically, but it's like, oh man, it's, that game for its time. That game for its time. It was interesting. But yeah, even after reviewing a Shadow figure, you know, I I like do like the backstory of him, so this is going to be good. Alright, so I got to... My anticipation, I need to just stop talking about it. It's time to get to building. So, I'll see you back here when I'm done. This could be so cool. See you guys. So, they're constructed. The sets are constructed. And I think, I really think I made the right decision by building these sets and wanting to review these both in the same video. Because each of these sets by themselves, I thought that they would have had enough to talk about, but they are still kind of small. Um, I know I was talking about the idea of being more excited for the smaller one, and after building both of them, I kind of like this bigger one better, the one with uh, Knuckles and Rouge. This one is the set that I was did enjoy myself more. Maybe because of the fact that it was just a, like I said, bigger set, so therefore you have more time to build, and it feels more like you're, you know, you're working towards a goal to get it completed. And also the fact that mechs are just really cool. Where to begin? Okay, so I noticed that each of the sets come with three things. Or at least in this one, uh, technically three, because you can split one thing into two parts. And that's of the Knuckles set. So, we'll start off with the Shadow one, since it's smaller. We have this little uh, robot rhino which has a what they call a flicky that's what it's called flicky inside so a little little animal right there little uh, chicken which I think was the most common of the animals to get I believe um, so uh, you can have shadow over here run into the robot and free the little animal which is cool and then the next part of the of this was this little stand, which the stand is pretty cool. It's got Dr. Robotnik uh, head, so it's shaped like Dr. Robotnik on top of it. And then it's got a little container here that's supposed to put Shadow in there. There is a graphic on the back um, in here, so if you pop this off, which I'll show you how to pop it off in a moment, there is a graphic that's a bit hard to see. It's kind of like in Virtual Boy vision, and Virtual Boy means black and red. If you don't know what a virtual boy is, go and look up what a virtual boy is. 
Um, so, um, yeah, it's like a little stop sign thing. This looks like something that would be in the game Shadow the Hedgehog. So, it fits. I'm fine with it. It's cool. And then, of course, the best part of it all, Shadow on an awesome motorcycle, which is what you saw in the game most of the time. This really does appeal to an older generation, I would say, with this particular set. I don't really see a lot of younger-ish people, you know, buying this set as much. I mean, maybe with the fact that they just want to get back into, you know, more Sonic-related things, and maybe somehow the younger generation knows of Shadow the Hedgehog the game. But I really see this targeting specifically early 2000s. That's what I see. Early People from the early 2000s that grew up playing this game. So, that is... It is it does have, like, cool little flaps on the side that kind of go all the way out like that. You can fold those back out. But, yeah, his motorcycle looks really cool. You can pop him off the motorcycle. The build, the little actual figure himself looks great. It looks exactly like how you would expect a Shadow of the Hedgehog lego figure to be and as comparison to sonic he definitely is a different type of character sonic you know that in this recent one they have to where sonic's even winking and smile and smiling you know and so him being you know supposed to be uh, more a uh, monotone type stoic character that's what shadow is in fact you you know i have tails as well happy you know character amy's pretty happy character and Dr. Robotic over here, he doesn't really have, he doesn't really have a uh, facial expression because it's just the mustache, the nose, and the eyes, but anyway. But yeah, so he, you know, he, he's z exactly what you think of him as, and so that character is awesome. And with that being said, like I said, there's not much, you know, functionality-wise to this set. It is a smaller set, therefore they can't do as much. There's just the motorcycle, one of the robots, you know, him facing, you know, um, him facing the robot, he can just run into that. And then, as far as this goes as well, if you... I'm trying to remember how exactly to do it. I think if you just go... You push this little lever over here, and it just knocks off the front plate and brings down the line, that's kind of just saying, oh no, Shadow has escaped. Because originally you could put Shadow inside this little box right here. Can we see it now? A little bit. We can see that a little bit. But yeah, it's really hard to see doesn't even have text on it, it's just a kind of little layout of uh, shadow and some lines and stuff like that on the back of there. So that's that's all I have to say about that one. This particular set I would give more like a 8 out of 10 because of the fact that it is very faithful to the uh, you know games, but it has limitations as far as like functionality and what exactly they gave to it, but also the fact that the cost is just the cost, you know, if you make a set that's is cheaper. You can't add much to it. Now, on the other hand, you have this set. Also, another thing I like about that one, and I'm only going to give it... Another reason why I would only give it 8 is because of the fact that one minifigure, and that's it. But, sometimes you only need one. But, now, oh, for the other one. Rouge the Bat would technically be your villain. And you would get Knuckles as your hero. Rouge the Bat would have a little... Uh, Kind of like a hover machine, I would say. This is kind of like a hover machine. And it's weird that they give her that because she has bat wings. No, wait. I put it together in my head. She has this so that way she it helps her pick up and carry the uh, Mastered Emerald over here. So you can actually use this to... So you pop that on there and you can lift... Yep, it's pegged in. So you can put the peg on and now she is taking away the Master Emerald. You can also pop it off just as easily. So that's pretty neat. That's pretty cool. But yeah, and uh, also her figure as well. Oh yeah, it has a little bit of movement on these little figures. So there's like little flaps that go out and back. And then on top of that, the wings can go down. Or they can go back up. However you want it to look. So there's some, some adjustment to it. Her as a character. Off. There we go. Okay, so her as a character... She does look very faithful to, you know, how the video game looks. In fact, they had a picture of what the character looks like here. Hope you can see that. Yep, there's Knuckles, there's Rouge. And I should have showed a picture of, yep, there's Shadow. So that's what Shadow looks in the game as well. So, that's pretty neat. Um, so, you know, almost, almost everything that's on the video game is on her. So, that works. And 
they even gave her the wings. They didn't just, you know, kind of, they didn't just print the wings on the back. Instead, they actually made full 3D wings for her. And those might be wings from, like, a Batman set or something like that. I could see that being a thing. Then we have Knuckles, which is the last part of this review. Um, so, Knuckles is on a mech. Now, everything else here makes sense, because I could see Rouge getting a hold of tech to help her carry the Master Emerald. I could see, and I, we've seen uh, Shadow on the bike before. I think we saw a Rhino character in one of the games. But, you know, everything else here seems something that you've seen in the games. This, however, is where I think they took artistic liberties and made something, you know, totally Lego just lego oriented knuckles inside of a giant mech and it is a cool mech i did have a lot of fun building this i really like this now normally you would see like dr robotnik in a mech and that's what we have right here for one of the later set one of the last sets i reviewed and so this is a dr robotnik mech you know it's not not the best but I didn't get the other one, and I might at some point get that Lego set. But yeah, that's Dr. Robotnik mech over there, so that makes sense. Um, this mech, however, is pretty big. You know, it's you know, it's not the biggest, but you know, it's pretty cool looking. Uh, some adjustable, uh, like kind of like aesthetic looking. These are kind of like this the spikes of a hedgehog, I would say. That's what that's probably trying to take a look like. Um, then we have the, you know, the arms are pretty movable. The only thing I would have to say complaint-wise about the arms is that you can't bend them as far as, like, you know, elbow bend. You can't elbow bend them. They are stuck in place. The wrist you can go ahead and maneuver. The arms, the shoulder you can adds. We can move up as well. So, that's pretty neat. And then we have... The legs, which again, at the thigh, we can move like normal. And then at the um, foot, we can move, you know, all around. Well, not all around, but mainly up and down kind of movement. And we cannot bend the legs again. So, pretty movable. The only thing left on this big guy I'll do is just these little, uh, this it has like a little... Uh, ammo and then a gun type deal I'm hoping I can catch this on camera maybe not if you squeeze the end of this gun thing right here I know where those went I'm not sure if the camera caught that but it's kind of cool I've seen them do that on other sets but that's pretty neat um last thing is here itself that's what I wanted to say shadow or knuckles so knuckles is he looks pretty faithful. Looks pretty good. Uh, the only thing I thought was weird, the head sculpt is great. The, you know, the back tail they have printed on, which is good. And the shoes look like knuckle shoes. And so everything, everything's almost good with this guy. The only thing is his hands are a bit different than I anticipated. Instead of having it to where it'd be like, you know, maybe some custom, you know, some custom, you know, knuckle type, you know, hands. Instead, it is more like an object. This is kind of hard to show, but it is more like an object that he holds. And so there's a peg on the bottom where his, you see that little right thing right there? That's where his normal regular hands. So you see, you can have him without the knuckle hands. And he just looks like a normal Lego with normal hands. But then you can actually peg these uh, knuckle hands on. And he looks a lot different, which is so interesting. You know, I never... Never anticipated that to be, you know, that's that's a weird one. Um, I mean, the illusion does get ruined a little bit when he lifts his hand, hands. I'm not sure. Yeah, you can see that. So that illusion ruins a little bit of it, but still pretty cool overall. I want to get one more shot of all of these figures right in a row. That way you can see kind of... And this, this set right here with the bigger one, I would give the bigger one... So that one I think I give 8 out of 10. This one I think I'll give... Yet another 8 out of 10 because, you know, it's got a little bit of functionality to it. Not like amazing functionality like the last Sonic sets. But then again, those ones went all out one and I think they were more expensive. But yeah, a little bit of functionality. So both of these 8 out of 10 would, you know, recommend for any Sonic fans. So let's go ahead and get all the different Sonic fans together. Add that. I'm going to 
or move the light a little bit so you can see. Oh, perfect! I love that. That is amazing. See all the different figures that we've had. All the other sets have repeats. But anyway, I gotta end the video because we're about to go out. See you guys later. See you guys later. Bye.